Okay, we're back on our floor installation uh, for floor pans for the bug. Um, what we did was um, we got the floor pans ready. Uh, we cut off this piece right here. We did some alterations uh, on this pan to make it easier. I came up with a shortcut to get these things in pretty easy. Um, this lip that this thing right, this lip right here that it sits on in the bug itself, which is part of this on a frame on installation. This right here uh, doesn't have to come out. Uh, whenever we took the floor pan out, we cut this seam off and it had the underside of this still on there. What I did was I took this, what this lip sits on and I bent it down to get it out of the way. And whenever I set the floor pans back in, I can bend that back up and weld it on. The factory uh, has some sort of welding machine that comes in and welds this things. The little spot welds, you see them little holes in there, uh, it has spot welds and we have to break those loose to get it out. So to kind of imitate what, we, uh, what was original, uh, we came along here and went ahead and drilled some holes in it so we could weld all the way around inside those holes. I don't know if you can see them. I can't see them through the camera. But anyway, there's spot welds, holes for spot welding all the way around. That way we don't have to seam weld it and then anytime, if anybody ever comes back in here to redo this thing, they don't have to bust a full weld out. They can just bust these little spot welds out. Uh, we're, we've got the driver's side pan ready to install all but the, uh, the seam, the rubber seam. And we have to uh, get the uh, rubber laid out and measured and cut it to the right length. But it doesn't come with the holes pre-cut. So what we have to do, we're going to have to... Uh, uh, make our own holes and what I did was I took a chainsaw wrench and just sharpened the end of it and on the holes that we've measured you might have to hit a little bit harder but um, on the holes that we've measured uh, just tap it pretty hard up against a piece of block of wood and your holes should pop right out and um, still gotta come on. put a little ass behind I mean little grin behind there there you go we got all the holes um, done but one. I just wanted to illustrate this one or demonstrate whatever the word is. But anyway, once we get all these holes out, we're going to stretch it across this thing and put some uh, weather strip gasket adhesive on there to get it, get it, uh, to, get it to stay on while we're installing this pan. Um, we pre-fit this pan in there before we did this just so that we know that we got a good fit and we don't have to sit there and mess around with it trying to get it to fit so it'll fit right up in there uh, so now when we get this uh, weather stripping on we can uh, slide it right up in there put a few bolts in it well actually all the bolts in it all the way up and then get it it's not going to be a pristine fit but it's going to be a good fit um, Whenever we get it to lay down in there, we can put some weight on it and, and make sure all the uh, edges are down against the uh, lip inside the bug and we can commence to spot welding this thing all the way around just like it was a factory uh, weld. And once we get that in, we're going to have to come along with some, some um, maybe some tar, rubber cement or something and just paste right over top of those welds because you see we had to grind off some of the paint to get a good fresh weld on top of the metal. Uh, we're going to have to cover that up so it doesn't rust and we end up in this situation again. We're also going to have to do it from the underside uh, of the floor pan which what I intend on doing is just undercoating that whole thing all the way up and down the the uh, floor pan so it'll keep the water off of it and if it's going to rust it's going to rust from the inside but hopefully we can prevent that too uh, maybe i can put some undercoating on top of it so if it is a convertible and it's it probably is going to get rained in once or twice in its uh future lifetime and uh maybe we can uh, prevent that all right, until next time, uh, we're going to go ahead and get prepare the other floor pan while this weather stripping's drying, and uh, 
and try to get it in there too. I'll give you a couple of shots after or maybe during installation. See you next time.